Hi Leo, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing great. We're going to do your reading uh, messages from Spirit and the Angels. Please know this can be about any area of your life, so take it how it resonates. Uh, everything else you need to know about my channel is in the description box. If you'd like to enter my personal reading giveaway, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. Uh, also below in the description box, how to contact me for a personal reading. Also below uh, my meditation, relax, calm channel, if you'd like to check it out. A lot of different videos for uh, manifesting, attracting positive energy, just, you know, music for meditation, sleep, calm. Uh, also, Twin Flame and Soulmate Activations, so check it out if you like, okay? Pulling uh, your remaining cards here, and then we're going to get started. So the last card um, is a message from Archangel Michael. So this message is insightful, so stick around if you can. I will read that one at the end. So let's get started. Okay. So your first card is the seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, and claim your personal power. All right. Second card, another number seven, uh, seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So this can be about a new strategy right? A new strategy here, maybe overcoming some obstacles or challenges. And then you have the six of Ariel. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, acts of kindness and giving or receiving with a grateful heart. Okay. I feel like things are going to come into balance here. Now, some of you, if this is around like money, career, um, there could be a new strategy that's needed to bring balance. Uh, some of you, you know, this could be right overcoming some maybe financial situations, unexpected expenses, things like that, or maybe in your workplace or career. And some of you, I feel here too, this can be around love. Okay. But sevens are about growth. Okay. Can be spiritual growth as well. So let's see what we have here with the tarot. Look at that. Seven of swords again. That's that seven of Michael here. Okay, oh boy, we got the Eight of Swords and the Tower, and we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Devil. Okay, <laughs> interesting. So I'm going to say here, Seven of Swords, uh, Eight of Swords, and the Devil. Okay, I feel like uh, Leo, you know, I just get this energy, right, as it says here with the Seven of Michael. Okay, have confidence and claim your personal power. So some of you may be going there, right? Going to maybe worry, negative thoughts, negative thinking, um, you know, especially with this devil card here. Now, there could be somebody around you. I'm just going to say there could be somebody around you who's like a negative thinker, right? That could be an influence on you. So, you know, be careful who you interact with. But I feel like this for a lot of you, this just could be, right? You, you're, you're thinking about a situation maybe in a negative way. And I feel like they're saying here, stay positive. Now, you got the nine of wands here. You have the tower and you also have here... Um, the Ten of Pentacles. What I'm really hearing with this Eight of Swords and the Tower, like feeling, you know, it's an energy too of feeling stuck, but it's a self-stuck. So you, you know, you can, you know, break free of those binds that hold you. And you got the Tower here. Okay, so I would say be careful, right? Be careful with your thoughts because you could create and manifest and attract something to happen, but... I feel like this is too about you breaking free from a situation that you may be feeling isn't working or um, not feeling balanced, okay? This is a card of perseverance, not giving up, okay? Could be, you know, you're feeling exhausted, okay? Got Ten of Pentacles. So some of you, this could be around a relationship and some of you, this is around, you know, your career and your money, Okay, this is also just Cap Capricorn energy as well. Now you got the Ace of Wands. So it shows me there's potential. There is growth here. 
There is the opportunity for things to change, to come into balance here. But I feel like too, with the Seven of Michael, there's a new strategy that's needed. Maybe the current strategy isn't working, okay? So have confidence that you can change things, right? You can come up with new ideas um, that can bring potential here. So let's see what else comes out for you. What else can you share with Leo? What else does Leo need to know? Okay, King of Cups, the Emperor, and the Four of Wands. Okay, and bottom of the deck here, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. You know what I get? For some of you, if this is like unrelated to love, but this could be related to love as well. I'm seeing an energy here of, um, you know, having more control over emotions, okay? Having more control over emotions, you know, uh, kind of... Um, you could need to set boundaries with people too. Uh, I get that energy as well. But you got the Eight of Pentacles here and you have the Ten of Cups. So there's an energy of staying focused, okay? So detaching, I feel here, from the emotions. The emotions could be triggering, right, the, you know, the, the negative thoughts or, you know, maybe a feeling of, you know, I don't know if I can do this, it's not working, that type of energy. So I get, Leo, that... If you can stay focused here, you got the four cups up here as well. I feel like you're going to have some options, some opportunity. Remember, we saw the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Some of you, this could be around love and relationships as well. And it may be, too, that you're needing to set a boundaries with someone, okay? But if this is around love and relationships, I do feel like there's someone here who has love for you, has feelings for you, okay? And I feel like things are going to turn around. You may see that this person is going to put the energy towards you, okay? Put uh, focus towards you, attention here, right? Things balancing out with that six of Ariel. But some of you, right, this is not about love, Okay, it's around stability, around money, career. Some of you may even own a business, okay, and maybe you're feeling like things aren't working. Um, there could be some fears here, right, about, right, stability of the, of the business. So it's new strategy, new ideas may be um, what is needed, as it says here with the Seven of Swords, there's a better course of action, Okay, working alone may not be the best answer. So you may need help in your situation to overcome the challenges or the obstacles that you're facing at this time. So don't be afraid to ask for help. And, and be confident and stay positive. Like I know everything is working out for my highest good. Okay, let's see uh, what you got here. You got polarity. Integrate your shadow side. There can be light without dark and understand the love of polarity, okay? So, yeah, I feel like, Leo, this just could be, right, maybe you're feeling negative about a situation or you're not seeing the change that you want, so you may have some negative thinking or fears around your situation, but as it says, integrate your shadow side. There can be light without dark. Okay, so I feel like you're going to get past it. Okay, so an energy here of, you know, maybe seeing things from a different perspective, coming up with a new strategized transformation there. You have celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success and enjoy your achievements. So I feel, Leo, if you make some changes here, maybe new ideas, maybe a new strategy. Um, I feel like you can see the change here, okay? And don't give up, right? There's an energy here of hard work and perseverance, and you got the Ten of Cups. I feel like there's a happy outcome. I feel like just right now, maybe you're just, you know, kind of um, feeling like you're not seeing the change. So let's see what... Uh, Archangel Michael has, yes, very, so on point with your reading here, Leo. 
So your message here, Leo, says... Give me just a moment, trying to find the page here. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Archangel Michael has been guiding you along the path of your life's purpose. Can you feel the rush of excitement whenever you think about your desired occupation and activities? This is a signal that you're on the right path. And this card reminds you to keep a steady eye on your goals. Continually visualize that you are ready to have the career or volunteer work of your dreams. See yourself helping people or issues that are dear to your heart. Imagine that you have complete financial security while you devote yourself to this important work. Any desire you have is viable as long as you stay focused upon it. The path is making your intentions a reality may differ from your expectations, yet the outcome is likely to exceed your dreams. Know that the angels walk beside you throughout your journey. Keep the faith and keep going. So possible specific meanings, and all of these may not apply, so take the ones that do. So make a dream board. So you can do that, you know, by using you know, paper and collage and cutting photos and phrases and um, that reflect your dreams. And uh, I tell this pe to people all the time, you can make a little collage, a digital one, um, and put it on your phone as your screensaver so you look at it daily. I actually do that. Affirm daily that your dreams are already a reality, okay? So affirmations are a great way to get you out of that fearful place, okay? Saying it daily um, can really train your mind to say, no, I'm going to do good. I'm going to have uh, the stability and security I want in my life. I'm going to meet that goal, okay? So Leo, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.